as determined by a fan vote on ESPN.com, Michael Jordan is the greatest college basketball player of all time. In a field of 64, visitors to ESPN.com winnowed it down to a championship final between Larry Bird and Michael Jordan, and they crowned Michael Jordan the champion. ESPN's college basketball is Jay Billis went on Sports Center, and as someone who competed against Jordan, he wanted to tell you exactly what it was like back in college. But it's clear from the bracketing and the voting that if you didn't appear in Xbox games, you had no chance of advancing. <laughs> uh, Walton not advancing is, is really hard to imagine. Travesty. Same thing with Alcindor. Billis has a column up at ESPN.com as well, explaining how difficult it was to play against Jordan. Billis being a dookie and Jordan going to North Carolina. But neither Michael Jordan nor his adversary in the finals, Larry Bird, are even in the top five college basketball players of all time. As Billis hints at there, it's heavily weighted towards people who might not have seen some of the greatest college basketball players of all time play a single minute. But I'll give you my top five. I'll tell you exactly how it shakes out. At number five, a two-time national champion, a guy who has hit at least three game-winning shots in a single tournament, I believe it was, four years at Duke. Most recent entry on this entire list, at number five, it's Christian Leitner. Christian Leitner was one hell of a college basketball player. I think it's fair to say for anyone who watched college basketball from the 80s and 90s on, He's the best college basketball player we have ever seen. He dominated when it mattered. He dominated in the tournament. Whether or not I got exactly the right stats and when he hit his game-winning shots, we just got used to seeing him hitting impossible game-winning shots. He was hated. He was reviled. And they did a 30-for-30 on it called I Hate Christian Leitner. But you have to respect the college basketball player that Leitner was. Absolutely phenomenal. At number four, the big O, Oscar Robertson, Cincinnati in the late 1950s. He played three seasons. He averaged almost 34 points a game. He was a three-time college player of the year, three-time first-team All-American. Oscar Robertson didn't win it all, but he dominated in almost everything he could control. Before I move on, let's see how it's going to go. Let me go to my college basketball bracket correspondent. Let me go to our supreme leader. Let me go to Kim jong Nuno. Nuno, where did Leitner and Robertson fall by the wayside? Where did they go in this 64-person bracket? Christian Leitner lost in the round of 32 to Zion Williamson. And then Oscar lost in the Sweet 16 to Dwayne Wade. To Dwayne Wade. Okay. It is, as Bill has said, only if you played in a video game on Xbox were you eligible for this list, but not in Will Kane's five best college basketball players of all time. Leitner, five. Robertson, four. And coming in at number three, a player from the late 60s, Pistol Pete Maravich, LSU. Let me give you his points per game average in three seasons at LSU. 43.8, 44.2, 44.5. He averaged over 44 points for his collegiate career. Bubba, who did some background research on this, said they've gone back and they've analyzed where his shots came from because these stats are before the three-point line. If there had been a three-point line, Maravich would have averaged over 50 points a game. He's a three-time first-team All-American and a two-time college player of the year. Pistol Pete Maravich, number two. I'm sorry, number three. And then there is number two. It's Bill Walton. Bill Walton, in three years at UCLA, had four losses. Two-time champion, two-time Final Four MVP, three-time College Player of the Year, and first-team All-American. Bill Walton averaged 20 points and 15 rebounds and dominated college basketball when he played. Let me go back to my bracket correspondent, Supreme Leader. Kim Jong-Nuno, where did Pistol Pete and Bill Walton go out in these brackets? 
they both went out in the round in the Sweet 16. Uh, Pistol Pete went out to Allen Iverson, and Bill Walton went out to Steph Curry. It's absolutely insane. Steph Curry at Dayton, better than Bill Walton at UCLA. And Allen Iverson was a phenomenal college basketball player, but Pistol Pete is the all-time leading scorer in NCAA history. And that brings us to the undisputed number one college basketball player of all time. I don't know how it's a debate, and I don't know how Michael Jordan secured the victory. Because to do so, it would have meant he beat, surpassed, or beat someone who beat or surpassed Lou Alcindor a.k.a. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, UCLA. Three years, only two losses. In those three years, he won three national championships, the Final Four MVP all three years, College Player of the Year all three years, and First Team All-American all three years. They outlawed the dunk because of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 26 points, almost 16 rebounds a game. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the definition of college basketball dominance, and he is the greatest college basketball player of all time. One more time, back to our bracket correspondent. Nuno, where did Lou Alcindor go out? He lost to Shaq, also in the Sweet 16. Insane. It's not Michael Jordan. It's Lou Alcindor. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who's the greatest college basketball player of all time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.